Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and today I am busy planting rice at my parents garden in Zone 8, Aiken, South Carolina. And we just did a demonstration of how to plant rice in a container with no drainage holes, but we found another big pot and this one does have drainage holes. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to compare the growth rates um, so that everybody could have the best information possible. So dad's gonna use his fancy dancy triple wheeled dolly to move it in place. We are gonna put it into the landscape. We're here in this corner where it does get irrigated. And the great thing about using a pot with drainage holes is that we can actually add another plant to it um, so this will, I think, be a really great experiment. I've actually never grown rice in pots with holes because it feels like it's too laborious to keep it watered. But since they have an irrigation system, this is the perfect place to experiment. Yep, so you see how we have the hibiscus pot over here as an anchor. We're just gonna put this rice pot here in this corner. It's kind of a entrance out to your meadow. And this is filled with potting soil from last year. It's not filled with compost. So this will be a really good experiment because it's like the opposite of everything I recommend. <laughs> so again, if your plants didn't die from disease, you absolutely don't have to throw your potting soil away. That's just something that manufacturers tell you so that you'll spend more money. Nothing wrong with reusing soil from year after year, unless you have a plant that died from some sort of soil-borne disease. So we're gonna plant directly in this, and then we will add just a little bit of fresh potting soil to this container. Okay, so as we were discussing this poor large leaf magnolia, Dad had a good suggestion. Yeah, uh, we have a protected area, the area that's fenced around the pool, and uh, there's some places where this might go nicely up there and there's already a irrigation line run right to the area. So I think that might be a nice place for it. Yeah, I think that's the logical solution instead of trying to grow this poor magnolia in a pot that's still gonna get browsed on. That'll work. You've had it for several years and it's smaller now than it was when you started. And it's totally because of your voracious deer population that live inside their neighborhood. Yes, in spite of the culling. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can tell, these videos that I make are authentic and they're not always planned out. It's part of the joy. So here, this, this uh, pot, now it's gonna be just, just a pot of rice. I'm gonna add a little bit more potting soil just to compensate for you know, the few inches that it's low. Again, this is not really a product that I use. I don't buy potting soil, I only use soil cube, but we used all the soil cube and we wanna get this planted today because I have to drive home because I have a really busy week ahead. So, um, add about a half a bag, roughly. And this has fertilizer mixed in. Again, this is, I don't really like this kind of soil, but this is something that's accessible to everyone. So it, it's a good experiment to show. And the sowing process is exactly the same. Just gonna scatter the seeds right on the soil. Again, my one ounce packs are the perfect amount for this sort of large size container. And the nice thing with the larger pots, it really will give you like a high impact. It looks like an ornamental grass as it grows out all summer. So just scattering that seed around and then mixing it into the soil. We will go ahead and water this in. And then this is on a regular irrigation cycle. So it should, uh, you know, not really require them dragging a hose to it. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, again, this is an experiment. It's the opposite of everything I've ordinarily done. It's a pot with drainage holes and a pot filled with potting soil. So it'll be really interesting to see how this rice fares 
in a totally different approach than my normal way with a pot with no drainage holes filled with compost. So I hope that you will stay tuned to watch updates throughout the summer season so that we can have a little bit more information to be able to share with all of you enthusiastic home rice growers. Thanks so much for watching everybody.